long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, this tagline from one of the most popular films of all time, Star Wars. What happens when this tagline mixes with Once Upon a Time? The world will soon find out, because the Disney Company recently purchased Lucasfilm. And today I'd like to focus on three highlights of this event. The purchase, what it means for the future of Star Wars, and the fan reaction involved. Minnie Mouse has impersonated Princess Leia for years now, but we all know now that's all for naught because Princess Leia is now officially a Disney princess. Now, to begin with, the purchase was announced on October 30th, 2012, and includes not just Star Wars, but the Indiana Jones franchise as well which means Harrison Ford's two most beloved characters, Han Solo and Indiana Jones, are now Disney characters. The purchase also include, included Lucasfilm's companies, Industrial Light and Magic, and Skywalker Sound. Those are two pretty big companies, which means there is some big money involved. The cost of Disney was $4.05 billion. Half of that is giving, being given to George Lucas in, in, cash, in cash, and the other half will be given to him in shares of Disney stock to the tune of 40 million shares, which is 2.2% of the 1.83 billion shares that are now in circulation. What does this mean to the future of Star Wars, though? Well, the first thing Disney announced after the purchase of Lucasfilm was that they were going to be making... Star Wars Episode 7 with a full trilogy to follow. Catherine Kennedy, who was once the co-chairman of Lucasfilm, is now the president of the division under, under Disney, will have to answer to Alan Horn, which is the Walt Disney Studios chairman. She is also serving as the executive producer for the new films. George Lucas said, that he has complete confidence that she's going to take them and make great movies. As far as directing goes, they do not have a director as of yet for the 2015 release of the movie, but they have announced that Michael Art is going to write the screenplay. He's best known for his Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for Little Miss Sunshine, and he was also nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay for Toy Story 3. What is the fan reaction to all of this? Well, as you can imagine, there are both pros and cons. I'd like to go over some of both of them. One of the pros is that, the obvious, there will be more Star Wars movies. And another pro is that it gives Disney a chance to, to improve the somewhat lackluster episodes 1 through 3 that Lucas was Lucas's most recent uh, Star Wars achievement. He developed a character, Jar Jar Binks, that children love, but some of the diehard fans just downright loathe. Disney's been making all the characters that appeal to both adults and children for years, so perhaps they can bring some new characters to this. One of the cons involved is that this might be the death of Star Wars as we know it. Zach Hansen of the HuffPost Entertainment says that he visions Disney will ride the franchise into irrelevance like the Pirates of the Caribbean toys. Captain Jack Sparrow for his first film was somewhat of a very entertaining, high energetic, off the wall character. But by his fourth film, his antics got a little boring. A lot of people might not even realize there are four Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Another con is that Episode 7 is going to be set 20 years after Return of the Jedi. And they're bringing the original cast back. Some people might view this as a, con as a, pro, as a pro, but others view it as a con, as the actors have not aged well. I'm looking at you, Mark Hamill. 
in conclusion, love it or hate it, Disney is now the owner of Lucas Lucasfilm. And they hold the future to Star Wars.